M-I-Z Z-A-H is to show up is a T It's to show up is a T Hey fools, it's Ms. T and I'm back with a little discussion here that I want to call Nintendo is losing the popularity contest. I know, I know, a lot of you fools are surprised about that. I guess that's a newsflash, but let's talk about it anyway. For some gamers who've been gaming longer than starting in the last generation, Nintendo began losing the popularity contest near the middle of the 16-bit era. While Nintendo games are still arguably just as popular, Nintendo home consoles are not. Nintendo knows trying to compete with Sony and especially Microsoft in terms of brand marketing is chasing fool's gold. It's probably a few years ago when Nintendo said they can't compete with Sony and Microsoft and that's what they were talking about. Sega made that mistake of chasing the fool's gold. They started making rash decisions to one-up Sony and fight them on their turf and that led to their demise in the console space. Check out my upcoming Throwback T on the Sega Saturn for more details about that. But Nintendo understands they simply cannot compete with the Sony brand or the Microsoft brand. Sony has record labels, TVs, phones, electronics, movie studios, etc. They have the best resources available to market their products as their own studios. A Sony commercial will always cost Sony less than a Nintendo commercial will cost Nintendo because Sony owns the studio. And it doesn't matter if Xbox Division hasn't made money since its inception. I know, them damn facts. Microsoft has more money than God. And they will prop it up as long as they and their investors can stand to. On another note, if the GameCube was a failure, then so was the original Xbox. Selling 2 million more than Nintendo puts you in second place. But if your logic is the GameCube failed, then that doesn't mean the original Xbox was a success either. But I digress. Nintendo is a games company only. Their most beloved console, arguably, was the NES, and it sold around 66 million. That's right, only 66 million. And I quote only. And that was when they owned like what, 90% of the damn market? The Wii was an anomaly, as it brought in people who I wouldn't even classify as casual gamers. Casual gamers make up most of the sales in gaming. So if this premise that the Wii U is a casual gaming console, then why aren't the sales better? These casual gamers are the fools that check for, you know, maybe five to seven games a year, which are usually those yearly release titles. These dudes don't care about Nintendo games and still wouldn't buy a Nintendo console if those games were available on a Nintendo console. You always hear that, oh man, if Nintendo would just offer more third party, you know, uh, you know, I would buy it. Come on, you wouldn't buy a Nintendo console for third party games. Why would you do that? They would do what casuals do, and that is stay in their comfort zone. You don't like Nintendo games, but you'd buy a Nintendo console if it had more third party multiplex? Why? You wouldn't. Yeah, some of you fools would. You know, some of you fools who say this actually have a Wii U right now. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the fools that are still on the fence that don't like Nintendo games and went by a Nintendo game console anyway. You wouldn't. You wouldn't buy a Nintendo console. You just buy the multiplex on the Sony or Microsoft consoles like you've been doing. Those are the consoles that you're used to playing them on, that all your friends are on. That's why you'd stick with them. Nintendo can't bring that audience over. That's a fantasy that fake Nintendo nerds tout. People like what they like. They cry and bitch about change. They cry and complain about new IPs and, and wanting things to change. And when that change comes, they don't like it. They don't like motion controls. They don't like changing the controller. They don't like the stuff that they say they want when they actually get it. Nintendo can't compete with Microsoft that owns what? 80 something percent of the computer software market globally? I don't know, I haven't looked this stuff up, but you know, from what I remember, it's around there. Sony makes TVs, Blu-ray players, music players, movies, and television. Nintendo can't compete with that brand. The only thing they can compete with is quality of games. And if you don't care about Nintendo games, then that doesn't matter to you. When it was Nintendo versus Sega versus Atari, that was a fair fight. They were all pure gaming companies. So for the casual gamer, the guy who doesn't follow games, who doesn't follow the games industry, the way most of us do here in this community, he just walks into a store. He's gonna walk in a store blind and just buy a console 
to play his Battlefield or Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto or Assassin's Creed games. He's going to get the Sony console because he sees Sony everywhere in media and entertainment. And he hears how it's the most powerful and blah, blah, blah. And he has a Sony TV in his house or a music player or, you know, whatnot. So he's familiar with that brand. And he uses Microsoft on his computer at work. And, you know, Nintendo was something a casual gamer. Like when he was a kid, as soon as the non-game companies got into gaming, everything changed for better on one hand and for worse. Beware a Google, Amazon, Facebook, or Apple video game console. I think that would be for the worse, for sure. <laughs> but Nintendo will have to diversify the types of games they themselves make. That is the only way that they'll shore up their fan base and continue to grow the fan base. Make their own Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto or Assassin's Creed type games made by maybe Retro or New Studio that can cultivate new Nintendo gamers for the future because those are the types of games that draw in casual gamers. And going forward, if you don't grow your hardcore Nintendo fan base, you know, they're gonna keep dwindling. That's just the nature of the beast. I'm getting older and busier and I can't carry the torch for you fools in the future. But just putting more third party games on Nintendo consoles is not going to help much. Nintendo needs to diversify from within to grab that new casual market who thinks of themselves as hardcore. Nintendo needs a new Rare Studio or Rockstar-like studio or Bethesda-like studio and so on. I think Nintendo knows this. You know, they're making moves behind the scenes. They're hiring certain types of people uh, that, that we know from these games that formerly worked on those types of games. So maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. That's why the Wii U is getting Bayonetta 2 and games like that and Devil's Third and so on cultivating new audiences for the future of their brand. And like I said, no matter what they do, they're not gonna reach, you know, Sony or Microsoft numbers because those companies are in your household already in things that have nothing to do with video games. And so there's an ingrained market, there's an ingrained marketing already going on inside your house before you even decide to buy a console. And Nintendo realizes no matter how many commercials they put out or, you know, how many third-party multiplex they acquire that's not going to change because those fans will continue to play those games on their popular boxes and unless Nintendo starts making TVs or opens a movie studio and all that's jazz which they're not going to do then they can't compete in that space and that's what they meant when they said they can't compete and what they've been doing really well this past year has been catering to their hardcore fan base and then trying to cultivate a new fan base by bringing in games like Bayonetta 2 and Devil's Third and even Hyrule Warriors. And in the future, games like Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem and even Xenoblade Chronicles X will continue to cultivate a new fan base for them. I've said my piece here. Uh, you fools tell me what you think down in the comment section. You know, do your thing, like. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. You can share the video. And uh, like I said, tell me what you think. I think I'm going to host a podcast on this subject, this very subject, to delve uh, a little deeper into it. Uh, it'll be my first podcast. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, so leave your comments, like I said, and I'll uh, see you fools next time. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo, fools.